morning, Springville High School, and welcome to The Jungle. I'm Anna Caroline. And I'm Melissa. This week is homecoming. This Thursday, we will be voting for homecoming queen in fifth period. This year's homecoming maids are Carissa Bailey, Alana Howard, and Lana James. Here they are to tell you guys what it would mean to them to win homecoming queen. Hi, my name is Carissa Bailey, and I'm not really sure what it would mean to me, uh, but it'd be pretty cool, I guess. And I'd be happy for others if they won. I'm Alana Howard, and I never thought that I would get homecoming made, but I'm super excited for the opportunity to represent the school as homecoming queen. Vote me. I'm Lana James, and it would be an honor to be homecoming queen because I love my school and the Tiger Code. Make sure you vote. I can't stand when people walk slowly in the hallway. Let's go to Kaylee who found out about other people's hallway pet peeves. Today I went around the school and asked the students of Springville what their pet peeves in the hallway were. Let's roll into the clips. So, mainly it just makes me mad when there's a big cluster of people and they walk really slow and can't get around them. Just, I'm trying to go somewhere, I'm trying to go fast, I'm trying to get to a class, but they taking so long, it makes me kind of mad. Some people group up at the lockers and you're trying to get to yours, especially when you're a bottom walker and they're all just standing in front of you. You're like, move. I don't like the pace of short people in the hallway. Biggest pet peeves in the hallway is when there's like someone walking in front of you and then they just like do a 180 and turn around with no warning whatsoever. So I'll show you real quick. So you're like you're walking, right? You need to, like, just don't do that. I know you want to talk to your friends, but grouping up at lockers leaves no space in the hall. Excuse me. Excuse me. Don't walk in a cluster or group. If you're walking behind or in front of someone, don't walk abnormally slow. Do not pack your backpack in the middle of the hallway. Someone could trip over you. Don't walk through the wrong side of the hallway. You might knock someone over. Especially don't walk up the wrong side of the stairs. If you see someone drop their stuff, help them pick it up. Here you go. Thanks. Thanks for joining the jungle today. I hope you can keep the hallway in an orderly fashion. I'm Kaylee and I'm signing off the jungle. Back to you, Alyssa and Anna Caroline. My hallway pet peeve is when people stop and talk in the middle of the hallway. I am always grateful when this doesn't happen to me when I'm on my way to class. And speaking of gratitude, if you didn't know, today is National Gratitude Day. This holiday was created in 1965 at the Meditation Center of the United Nations Building in Hawaii. It is used as a day to be grateful for everything you have been given, similar to our Thanksgiving holiday. So with that being said, let's take a day to appreciate our families, friends, teachers, and our school. A lot of times we take these things for granted, so today I encourage you to be more grateful and appreciative of what you have. Thanks, Anna Caroline. I'm grateful for my family. I know something that the football team would be thankful for. New turf for the football field. Let's go to Sophie who has more. Thank you, Alyssa and Caroline. I'm Sophie and I'll be discussing the new turf that's to be placed in our stadium. And who's better to speak on this subject than our very young principal, Mr. Moore? We're excited about the district option vote that you can vote for. Parents can vote for citizens of St. Clair County and Springville Schools to just add a district option tax to give us an opportunity to work on some capital planning projects just for Springville Schools. One of those projects will be turfing the football field. Having the turf field just off the top of my head is you know, one, you, you save a lot of money on paint. You don't have to paint the field every week. Um, you don't have to worry about resodding it every year. Uh, it's just some of the, the expenses that you just, are yearly expenses that you end up having to do with a regular uh, grass field. Not to mention the playing surface also stays a lot more consistent. Um, a lot of times when you play on grass and dirt, you get spots, certain spots in the field where it gets worn a little bit more um, and then that tends to, lead to some different bounces or more rolled ankles and more rolled injuries. Yeah, we're hoping to start as soon as we have graduation. We'll start on that project and have that uh, turf field for next school year. And that's the insight for our future turf field. Back to you guys. Thanks, Sophie. Now let's go to Laney, who was there when two senior boys tried cheerleading. You see the cheerleaders cheering on the sidelines on Fridays and performing at pep rallies, but do you really know what goes on behind the scenes? Today we asked Jackson and Jacob to try cheerleading. Let's see who did better. This is Jacob, this is Jackson, this is Camille and Emma, they're cheer teachers, and they're about to learn the cheer. Hold up, y'all need to break it down. Slow down, slow down, slow down. I just showed it to you. Break okay. it down. Hey, slow it down, okay. big fella. No. S-A-J-S, we're S-A-J-S. S A J S. We're gonna hit here. Jump and you're gonna kick your legs up at the same time. Wait, okay, so it's like a little butterfly motion. Yeah. yeah. Check jump. Jump. Okay, go. Here. Okay. <laughs> 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 
Oh, oh that's <laughs> different. <laughs> Don't talk during it. Oh, I'm not doing that. <laughs> Okay, so we'll just hang. I'm, I'm just, just I just hang. want me to jump? You just hang. Yeah, you hold okay. your arms straight okay, down. Okay, okay. Hang your knees up. Are you ready? Thank you. interesting let us know who you think did better on our Instagram back to you guys thanks Lenny maybe we should let them join the squad mm, maybe not make sure to go to our Instagram and vote for who you think did better now it's time for sports with Sarah and Kelsey thanks Alyssa and Anna Caroline let's start with cross country The boys team placed first at the Fairview Invitational. The team was led by David Robles who placed third with a personal best of 1735 and Benjamin Chapman who placed fourth. There were three runners in the top 10 and six in the top 20. Congratulations Tigers. Thanks Sarah. The football team played at Scottsboro Friday night. Let's go to Jake who covered the game. This past Friday, Springville traveled to Scottsboro for their second region game. Springville started off hot with touchdowns from Ashton Fry with a 12-yard run and Ashton Fry with a 1-yard run to give the Tigers a 14-0 lead at halftime. At half, Scottsboro would come out and score to give Springville a 14-6 lead. Next, Ashton Fry would find Jamil Williams for a 15-yard touchdown pass. Then Scottsboro would score twice, tie the game up at 21. With the time running out in the fourth quarter, Johnny Wolf would kick a game-winning field goal to lift the Tigers over Scottsboro on their homecoming 24-21. Thanks, Jake. The football team plays Fultondale at home this Friday. I covered the volleyball team last week. Let's check it out. The Lady Tigers competed in a tournament at Hewitt this past weekend. They went 6-0, beating Chelsea, Minor, Hillcrest, Pleasant Valley, Southside, and Hewitt. Congratulations to the volleyball team. Thanks, Kelsey. The volleyball team plays at home today and Thursday. Go out and support all of our teams. Back to you, Alyssa and Anna Caroline. Thanks, Sarah and Kelsey. That's all we have for you today. Be sure to follow us on Twitter and Instagram at SHS underscore Jungle underscore Roar. Follow us on Facebook at SHS Jungle Roar and subscribe to our YouTube channel, The Jungle SHS. Bye. Bye. <laughs>